Hey guys, it's Kelly. Welcome back to the channel of Chilled Relax Plant Content, where we talk about our plants and we try to find the best way to grow them so they don't die. So, if that sounds like something you're interested in, hit the subscribe button and let's be plant friends. So today, I am going to be showing you kind of like a bummer video. I'm going to be showing you some of the hoys that I have that are just not doing it for me and the criteria that I am choosing to kind of like throw these plants under the bus is slow growth, uh, difficulty maintaining leaves, like newer leaves, and just the growth pattern in general. Um, I've kind of learned through the different types of hoyas that I do have, which hoyas I really like, which ones I don't. And yeah, I'm gonna show you the ones that I'm not really feeling. I'm gonna take you around and uh, give you an up close personal view of the Hoyas that I have and kind of explain what it is about them that I don't like. And uh, yeah, alrighty, see you in a bit. Alright guys, just a quick little overview of my Hoya wall. And uh, yeah, let's, let's get into it. So, down here. Hoya Panchoi. Panchoi, Panchawi. However we are supposed to pronounce this. It's just not doing it for me. I mean, I don't think I'm really that interested in like smaller leaves like this without any type of other texture. They're cute, right? I'm not going to throw it out. But I'm also just like, I won't be sad if it dies. I will not be replacing this one. It's just for me has been a very slow grower. When I transported it into this pot, it lost a bunch of leaves. But uh, yeah, so that's the first one. I'll give you some views of some guys that I do actually really like and are going, growing very well. The Zambales. Nobody really talks about this one and it looks kind of like a miniature uh, Wyetii or Kentiana. And it's not, it's cute, I like it. Okay, we're traveling over. Uh, these guys are okay. Oh, this is my Hoya Diptera, and I mean, look at her. It literally was a, that leaf and a node. And it shot out that stem, and it's putting out new leaves. I literally just placed it on top of the soil, and it's, it's doing its thing, so yeah. <laughs> Alright, the Manu Princess is doing really well also. Alright, we're going to travel down. Another small leaf Toya. The Hoya Huscliana. It's supposed to have yellow leaves. After transplanting it into this pot, they kind of wrinkled up and they haven't unwrinkled, but they haven't died off. And like, it feels like it's rooted. And yeah, I don't... I don't see myself buying this plant again. It's very slow growing. And uh, yeah, I don't know. It's just, it's not doing it for me. I would not buy this plant again. And next to that is my Hoya Denumensis, which is a vertical grower, so it's already got like one strike against it. But it's also just like not growing. It has like this very pale yellow leaf it's had it there for months and yeah i'm hoping in the spring and summer this plant will take off but i don't have high hopes for it so we're just we're just here that's all and then on the other side of the hushkliana is my hoya sunrise and i really like this plant but it can't maintain its leaves like, it's put out so many, let me pull it closer, it's put out so many new growth points, and all the leaves that they put out on there have all fallen off. I don't know what's going on, if it's just this plant. Look at that sun stress, it's so pretty. Ignore the, the watermarks. <laughs> yeah, but I, this is from like treating it with alcohol and stuff, and seeing, making sure it's not like a pest or anything that's doing that, and it's not, there are no pests on this plant. But yeah, so uh, sunrise. 
I would buy that again. I might try to buy like just a better species and put them together and then that one can just be ugly and the newer one I get can grow and be pretty. Alright. These guys down here are doing wonderfully. This guy is my Hoya Diversifolia. And he is growing wild. And look at the leaves, look at the splash on that. They're beautiful. He's growing all in there. I need to get him a trellis, but yeah, we haven't done that yet. All right, coming up here, the Bolosan is doing well. He actually has a trellis. I have another one of those. The Rebecca's doing well. The Bentioani is growing insane. <laughs> and they're putting out these beautiful, beautiful leaves. This is a plant that they, the leaves look like they kind of hang, like it sends up the tendril, puts out the new leaves, and they kind of like hang downward. It's really cool. I've been using like the shelves to help prop some of these guys up until I get my uh, trellises made. <laughs> and probably the last one that's annoying me is this Hoya Papa Shawani. And he has looked like complete garbage for a very long time. And he's not dead, I swear. If he was dead, I would just chuck him because I'm over him. But uh, he refuses to die. His veins are very green. And I guess that's what's been uh, helping him live. But, uh, yeah, and it kind of, like, it looks like there's more green going on now. These were, like, full yellow leaves. But this look, leaf looks like it has more green, so I don't know, and especially that one. I don't know what is going on with that. That is a huge mealybug. So maybe, I don't know. I don't really know. I don't think it's because of mealybugs, but, yeah. And again, it's also like an upright uh, growing Hoya. And if I had to pick one upright growing Hoya to have, it would be the Multiflora. Just because it it gives you flowers like almost all year round. It's once it's established and puts out peduncles, like you're going to have flowers. It's a guarantee. Where this guy kind of just isn't doing it. Neither is the Danumensis. So, who knows? Alright, and there's a quick little view of the Hoyas from this side. I have to turn the lights off because it gets all weird. And uh, yeah, so these are the Hoyas that I am struggling with and frustrated with. If you have any tips or tricks for any of these guys, let me know in the comments below. And until next time, relax, plant, and peace out.